Warning, everything discussed during this Level Up podcast with me, Dwayne Pierce, is all based on my own personal experience as well as the personal experience of all my guests. It is up to you as the listener or the viewer to make sure you get your own advice on the topics that we discuss. If you don't understand what's happening in the industry, how can you educate the clients that are coming to you about what's going on in the industry? Hello and welcome to Level Up with Dwayne Pierce. My dream is to improve the residential building industry for all involved. Throughout this podcast, we're going to be chatting to all types of industry experts to make sure that builders, tradies and clients all have a fantastic experience. G'day guys, back in the shed uh, here for another episode of Level Up with me, Dwayne Pierce. I'm here on my own today because it, uh, this one was more about, um, I wanted to talk about prepping yourself, your business um, for 2022 because I believe that 2022 um, in the construction industry here in Australia and, and probably other parts of the world is going to be incredibly difficult. Um, obviously, like we're in Brisbane, uh, southeast Queensland. We've we've fared pretty well so far through all the COVID stuff. I, I really feel for a lot of my colleagues um, down south, uh, especially in Victoria. Um, you guys have had a very very difficult time. Um, but yeah, every, everything I'm hearing up here, um, I think it's only going to get a lot worse. And like obviously, 2019 uh, was a challenging year for everyone, adapting to COVID and and um, Obviously, it's here to stay now. We've got to learn to live with it. Uh, this year has been very challenging, again, especially for my colleagues uh, down south. Um, and look, the, the government, um, I believe, could have done a lot of things a lot better. Um, there's just so much demand for housing at the moment, uh, which is, is, is pushing. We've got, we got incredible price increases. Um, no one really knows where it's coming from. Uh, everyone is incredibly busy, very flat out, but you're not hearing any stories of people making uh, big profits. So um, a lot of the a lot of the on costs seem to be coming from transport and especially sh- uh, shipping from overseas. Um, so I just really wanted to have a chat today. Get on here to make sure because um, as it, as the name suggests, like I'm I am on a mission to level up the residential building construction industry. And uh, to be able to do that, we need to make sure we run good, profitable, sustainable businesses. And even for guys like myself that um, have done the hard yards, spent five to 10 years in business, really struggling, um, got to a point where I, where I started owning everything, stepping up, putting a lot of systems processes in place and taking responsibility, I guess, was a big thing. Um, to turn my business around and for I guess uh, probably a good four to six years now we've run a good business and, and it's continually getting better we're constantly improving it but even with the amount of uh, systems and processes and, and how well we run our business um, we've still really struggled this year we've uh, for the first time in a long time we've had a couple of jobs that um, we haven't made we, we uh, what we had costed the jobs, had gone over um, purely because um, of price increases. Um, we've had a couple of little hiccups from me on, on bigger jobs, not allowing enough carpentry labour, but that look, I, I get that. And um, because we track our data so well, it's it's I learned from every single job. I, and so I guess that's part of what I'm trying to talk about today and prepping for next year. Like building businesses have so much data and I didn't realize the data they had in them, but uh, you need to make sure you're reviewing every single project you do. There's never been a more important time to understand what it's costing your business to operate each year. Um, So understanding what's an overhead, what's a site cost, um, making sure you're allowing, like I'm a big believer in separating your margins on your projects. You, You work out your project cost, you work out your admin or overhead cost, and then you work out your profit margin. So um, it's a really good way to identify what your actual overheads and running costs are and keep your profits separated. Um, And also education, like I'm massive on education. Um, There's never been a more important time to read the emails you're getting, talk to your reps, talk to your suppliers, 
um, go to industry association events, um, government events, like anything that you're getting that um, you would normally put in your trash folder or ignore or whatever the case may be, put in the time, put in the effort, go to some of these events and stay ahead of what's happening. Talk to people, listen to what they're saying um, because that will help you more than you can ever imagine. Like part of a big part of um, my live life build business and um, like we've, we've currently got members, uh, builders all across Australia and New Zealand that we, we help run better building businesses. And a big part of that is education. And if, if you're, if you don't understand what's happening in the industry, how can you educate the clients that are coming to you about what's going on in the industry? So for, us to raise the, the bar and for builders and tradies to be more respected as professionals, we need to be doing something about that. And that means, like I said, reading your emails, talking to people and then passing this information on so that when you're giving your clients prices and if you've given them a price one month and then they've taken a while to make decisions and then you've got to reprice and give it back to them, it helps them understand why the cost has gone up and why it's costing what it is and all those types of things. So 2022 is going to be very hard. Um, there's talk of some major suppliers actually pulling out of Australia because there's too much demand in Europe and America. Um, we're in a situation now and um, I'm sure it's similar around Australia but in southeast Queensland where Suppliers are only giving us 30 to 45 day pricing um, if we can even get it. We're actually in a situation with a lot of our suppliers where they won't even give us a price. Unless they know we've got the job, the work's going ahead, they haven't even got the time to give us a cost to do the project. So it's making it incredibly hard for us to price jobs. Luckily, we are so thorough with our data and we can go back from every single project we've completed and reference the cost of similar projects and then add on the percentage that we're getting told things are going to increase. So um, even on items that we're not able to get pricing on, we're able to make a really good educated decision and put a figure in so that we can go back to our client and say, look, um, this is what your job's going to cost. Um, we're doing the same thing. Any, any quote that we give or proposal, um, I don't like the word quote. Um, if you're a tradie, you provide a quote. If you're a builder, you provide a proposal. Um, but uh, you need to be able to explain to your clients what you're, what you're doing for that cost but you need to be no different to your suppliers. If you're giving your clients a proposal, you need to make sure it's only valid for 30 or 45 days as well because in this current climate, you can't be holding a, a proposal cost that in 30, 45 days, 60 days, 90 days could be another three, four, five, six percent higher. Um, so we're talking big numbers, especially if you get into projects that are hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars. So um, look, if you're a tradie out there, there's, there's lots of stories going around at the moment where you've got the big tier one builders that are trying to lock contractors in for fixed pricing for jobs that are still 12 months away. And like, that is just absolutely ludicrous. If you're a tradie out there that is even considering that, you're crazy. Um, you're gonna get yourself into a lot of trouble. Um, and these big players should be held accountable for even trying to do that. Like in, in a climate like this, um, look, we all know the big players go into projects at absolute bare bones margins, if any margin at all, and make their profits off the variations that they charge. So, um, and quite often there's, there's lots of stories around our industry where the big players will just simply not pay contractors, make excuses, play the game exactly to the contract. Traders don't understand the contract, they get screwed over and that's also how they make their profits out of the project. So please, if you, if you follow my stuff, if you're listening to these podcasts, um, the warning signs are everywhere. So I love this industry. I've been in it for 26 years. I absolutely love it. I, I I don't believe that I work. I, um, I, there's never a day where I don't want to uh, do what I do because I absolutely love this industry and I'm on a mission um, to change it, to improve it. And I've done the hard yards. I've been in the trenches. I've nearly gone bankrupt I've, multiple times. Um, it took me a long time to, to learn the hard lessons until I got to a point where I took responsibility and, and changed it for myself. So 
I don't want to see people going through what I've been through a couple of times. And if I can sit here and chat to you guys on a podcast, on my social media pages, give you advice and stop you going through all the pain, the heartache that I did, then uh, that's what I'm doing all this for. And I appreciate the, uh, the support that all you guys give me. And um, I really want us all to work together to make sure we get through uh, 2022. We all run successful businesses, profitable businesses, and ultimately we all deliver our clients, whether you're a builder building projects, I want you to be delivering your clients fantastic projects. If you're a tradie doing work for clients, I want you to make sure you're doing your job correctly and giving your client good value. And that's what's going to lift the, the game of our industry and make us more professional. So um, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hope you got a bit out of it. Um, please take notice, ask questions, talk to your suppliers, read the emails that you normally put in your trash on the warnings that we're getting. And, uh, have a successful 2022 if you've got any questions shoot them through i'd love to help you guys out if there's anything that you're struggling with at all um whatever i don't care what it is shoot it through to us and uh yeah we'll either do a podcast on it or i'll shoot a video on my social media pages and uh help you out as much as we can Mm -hmm.